Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first edition of Chemcon TV's News Bulletin. CCTV is a new and innovative project where we share news and information made here in Chicago at Chemcon the Americas with our delegates and our global network. What can you expect? Interviews with authority experts and industry experts. Today we have an interview on GHS in North America. As of tomorrow, we show you feedback on questions and answers from Chemcon the Americas. Every day, a statement of the day. Also, if you're not in Chicago, we very much value your opinion on it. A forecast of the day. And last but not least, we have our local reporter, TJ, who will report on interesting things here in Chicago. Let's see if he's here. Hi, I'm TJ. Welcome to CCTV and welcome to Chicago. Cheers. What do you know about Chicago? I've not Hi. been outside yet, but I know its nickname is the Windy City. Indeed, Chicago is known as the Windy City, but also known as the second city and the city that works. My favorite description of Chicago is the city of innovation. No innovation defines Chicago as much as its skyline with the nice architecture. One good example is the headquarters of the Chicago Tribune. It was erected in 1925 after an international design competition in 1922. The building has many famous building fragments built in from other buildings from all over the world brought to you by the revenue reporters of the Chicago Tribune. For example, the American Alamo, the Great Wall of China, the Berlin Wall, as well as the Indian Taj Mahal. I really recommend you visiting it since it's only adjacent to the hotel. It means one step away. Thanks TJ, I will. Since it's next door, I would like to invite TJ also to visit our hotel, since that's also a true landmark with many historical and interesting features, especially this week since the hotel accommodates many experts from all over the world. From India, China, USA and Europe, maybe not matching all the stones of the Tribune Tower, but trust me, it's an impressive lineup. And part of this all-star lineup is Karen Levens, with whom I talked about the recent changes in GHS in the USA and her Canada. Here are some highlights of the interview. Today, for the very first interview at CCTV, we have chosen a wonderful topic, GHS in North America. As you can see on the cartoon, there are blueprints ready now in North America for uh, GHS. Uh, the GHS block building syndrome, it's sometimes called. Europe uh, discarded a few blocks, used some new blocks, and of course in Asia they already implemented many of the building blocks. Today uh, we talk about GHS uh, together with uh, Karen Levens. Karen, in your Canada, uh, WIMIS is uh, replaced by HPR uh, soon. Can you tell us more about that? Sure. Um, the, the WIMIS, the Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System, is actually going to retain the, the, that acronym. Uh, many people are, are calling it WIMIS 2.0, the next version, um, which will adopt the GHS influences. It will be a significant overhaul of the WIMIS program. As you indicated, uh, the United States implementation is also the 1st of June, like many other uh, CLP in Europe, uh, Canada probably also then some deadlines. Uh, in uh, the United States, do you think industry having seven months left is prepared for this uh, new deadline? Well, let, and let's be clear, there's a, there's a June 2015 deadline for manufacturers, uh, what I think of as the molecule owners, um, and certainly the, the, uh, because of the need to sort of stagger the expectation that distributors who are, in essence, uh, waiting for manufacturers to collect up their information about their products and then pass that information on to the distributors who then modify what paperwork they need to modify before they uh, uh, then subsequently get their products off the shelf. So there's a bit of, there's a two-step uh, two step staggered um, um, compliance deadline, the June 2015 as well as the end of the year 2015. The complete interview can be viewed at our website and our YouTube channel. And for those here in the hotel at channel 58. GHS is scheduled for Monday afternoon. Now it's time for our first statement of the day, where everybody here in Chicago can hear their votes with the Cam Connect app. Also for those not in Chicago, you can download the app and provide your insights to us. Today we have in our CCTV studio Ms. Karen Armstrong of 3M, who will put forward the first statement of the day. 
Karen is Chemcon's leading lady and well respected by both authorities and her industry peers on her knowledge. So Karen, very welcome. Thank you, Chair. Um, Karen, could you please explain the importance of uh, a global notification strategy for chemicals and polymers? At the same time, I will show my kids what polymers can do. Well, the rules for introducing new chemicals in various countries vary um, significantly between countries and polymers are a special subset which also make a difference. In order to support that business, we need to understand all of the rules but have a separate approach in order to meet those requirements. The benefit of ChemCon is in recent years as we've not only looked at the rules and working with the authorities but working to develop an approach that supports industry's business. Okay, thank you. And your statement of the day is? My company has a successful program for new chemical notification globally. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I'm curious what our delegates will think of this uh, statement. And uh, Karen, thank you very much for coming and enjoy the week. Thank you. To wind up with a forecast of the day. In Chicago, a sort of snow, a sharp contrast with the hot topic of the morning, global notification systems. In the afternoon, the globe turns purple for the global harmonized system. And in the evening, we have a nice breeze in a networking environment and a welcome reception. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the item on GHS on North America.